Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another oh, yeah! moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. Whoa, check out all these beakers and flasks and test tube. Are all these chemicals just begging to be mixed together? You know, we've all had that sentiment at one time or another in our classrooms, and unfortunately in many classrooms, they don't let you just mix things together. You know, it's time to change that. It's time to take back chemistry. Today, I'm gonna challenge you to make your own slimes using things you can buy in your supermarket. We've talked about slime before. One of the ingredients is a polymer, a chemical made up of long chains of molecules like these paperclip chains. Other chemicals are added to the first to cross-link the chains together. These cross-link bonds are what change the more liquid-like polymer into slime. The amount of each chemical added determines how many cross-link bonds are formed. The more bonds, the thicker the slime. The last few times we've made slime, I've given you the recipe. Not this time. This time, you have to come up with the recipe. Let me show it to you a different way. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous. So always have a responsible adult helping you. For this experiment, you'll need water, liquid laundry starch, borax, white glue, gel glue, and food coloring. You'll also need measuring cups, plastic spoons, plastic cups, writing materials, and paper towels for cleanup. A few hints to help you out. First, add food coloring to the ingredients before you mix them. If they react, the food coloring will be very hard to add afterwards. Well, you don't have to add water. If you decide, we strongly recommend adding it first to the other ingredients before mixing. If you try afterwards, it may not mix. Mix everything in the disposable cups, not in the original bottles. Clean the measuring cups and spoons before you measure out the next ingredient to prevent them from reacting too early. Also, put everything you make into the trash, not down the sink. Most importantly, make sure to accurately record what you are doing. What ingredients do you use? How much of each and in what order do you mix them? You'll need this to recreate your recipe in the future. So what did you make? Well, for my first recipe, I took three tablespoons of white glue, added in four drops of red food coloring and mixed it. Then I added in three tablespoons of powdered borax and stirred it up and I got I got this kind of rubber-like substance. Well, that's okay. You might not always get slime the first time around, but you still learn a lot. So what did you do for your second one? For my second one, I took half a cup of water and added a quarter cup of glue. I stirred it up, then added five drops of yellow food coloring and stirred it up. In a second cup, I took a teaspoon of borax and added half a cup of water. I mixed it, then added one drop of blue food coloring, then mixed it again. I combined the two cups together and got this stuff, which looks and feels a lot more like slime. That's great. Let's check and see how your sister did. So how did your first one go? My first one didn't do anything. I took a quarter cup of liquid laundry starch added a quarter cup of water and two drops of green food coloring and stirred it up. I then added one teaspoon of borax to a quarter cup of water in a second cup and stirred it. But when I mixed it together, nothing really happened. Well, that's okay. Just like you might get some unexpected results, sometimes you get no results. But even no results can still tell you something. That's true. I did think I needed some glue, so... I took a third cup and poured in a half cup of glue with three drops of green food coloring, then dumped in the mixture for my first attempt, and... So I got this great stuff. Look at this. Excellent. So what did you make? This has been another Oh Wow moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play. <laughs>